It was a plain old ordinary Bible that made history twice. Clark, this is a Bible from 1853, but it's not just any Bible from 1853. Something very special about it. Tell me what that is. Jamie, this is a Bible upon which Abraham Lincoln took the oath of office as president on March the 4th, 1861. This one right here in your hands right now was <laughs> swore in President Abraham Lincoln. The real McCoy. Utterly amazing. And there's an interesting detail here that the Bible is in fact authenticated as the genuine Bible that was used in the inauguration. Yes, I'm going to open this clasp and turn to the back. And here we have, if there's any doubt that this is indeed the inaugural Bible, there is a seal of the Supreme Court. This is your day job, Clark. You work here. Uh, Does yes. it ever blow your mind that you're standing here holding the Bible that Abraham Lincoln swore his oath of office? After decades here at the library, I'm still astonished. It's so incredible to uh, be actually standing here. Can I hold it? Can I hold the book? Jamie, you may. Very carefully. A great privilege, but I'm going to pass that it on It is to you. really a privilege. Indeed. I almost feel a kind of disconnect. You talk about these great names and these great events, and then here we are with the object, and it's a thing we can hold in our hand. It's very real. It's very everyday in its way. It's a, it's a book that conjures up a particular moment in history, a particular time and place. This edition is not a particularly distinguished edition of the Bible. It was not owned by Abraham Lincoln. The person who purchased the Bible was William Thomas Carroll, who was a clerk of the Supreme Court. And of course, Mr. Lincoln did have a Bible. It was his, the family Bible was packed with his other belongings coming by train from Springfield. They had to get it done, so they had just, to get it done. You used whatever Carol. Bible was close to hand, and here it is. Here it is, precisely. To bring the Bible into the present, Barack Obama has chosen to use this actual book for his own inauguration. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yes, well, of course, um, Barack Obama will be our first African American president, and of course, uh, Lincoln largely recalled as freeing the slaves. So there's great symbolism and great meaning in that. Clark Evans, Head of Reference Services in the Rare Book and Special Collections Division, Library of Congress.